here's my block. I am going to mount the rear main seal conversion, which uh, is this little number. Um, it uses a modern type of oil seal. And uh, basically that will mount right in there. Uh, the trick to it is you have to basically drill some holes in your block. And so it com the kit comes. Um, I got this kit from uh, BP Northwest. Happened to be on sale, it was a pretty good deal. Uh, so I bought it just on a whim really. And, um, and so basically it comes with a bolt uh, with a hole through it. And um, you're basically gonna work your way through, drill four holes. And, uh, and so I'll just kind of document that process. So I've drilled the holes and now I'm tapping them out. Uh, no one's ever gonna be confusing me with a true metal worker. But um, this is actually not that bad. I uh, very carefully measured my bit, marked it with tape. Um, I think the real trick to doing this job is to, um, to make sure that uh, you lock this in place. So what I've basically done is when I wasn't working on a hole, I put an extra bolt through. And um, I've seen it done with copper plates big thick pieces of copper. I don't have any copper, so I just used wood to make sure to not damage either the threads on my bolts so I wouldn't get them out or the uh, the engine block itself. But basically I just have these uh, really tight against the block, basically locks this whole thing in place. And so then when I drill and I tap each one, it goes really, really well. Um, just make sure to have a, uh, a really good um, uh, lube. So I've got a I've got tape on my tap um, and basically I'm backing it up right now and uh, and it, it just goes really really well so um, so I'm pleased I have one more to do and, uh, and then I will be able to uh, to mount it in place I just finished tapping the final hole uh, I did deviate from the instructions I guess I should specify um, the bolts that came with the kit were all metric I didn't like that mainly because I don't have metric taps or metric drills. So I would have had to order everything separately. So I switched and the holes that I drilled were 530 seconds and the tap I used was a 1032. And the nice thing about that is it's nearly the same exact size as what came in the kit, but I can also just go to my local hardware store and buy uh, bolts that'll fit that beautifully. And, um, and so that's what I've done. So now I'm going to, uh, there's an ever so slight lip there. I'm just gonna file that down just by hand, very, very lightly. And then um, I will uh, probably run the tap in again, just lightly, just to make sure everything is nice and clear. But I've modified the plate uh, just using the uh, template provided and an angle grinder. Um, that went pretty easily, fits beautifully. Um, the uh, might be hard to see, but it's all in there. It's sealed up nicely and I'm just getting ready to, uh, to put the gasket material in. That green tape is just on there to keep dust out while I get everything ready, so. Okay, I've got the gasket on and I'm ready to apply the, uh, back, the uh, back plate. This is the final result. I've skipped a couple of steps, I suppose, that maybe I probably should have shown, but once you get going, you kind of get excited. The uh, the red seal is in place. It seals very nicely. It's using, um, it's pressed in, it's sealed with uh, RTV. Uh, the only real modification you have to make other than drilling the holes into the block is to cut out these little notches, which are relatively easy. I did those with a little hand grinder and, uh, and then touched them up with a, with a sander. And uh, that worked really well. There's no gaps per se. I've mounted the, the back plate on it. Um, so I'm really happy with the result. I don't know if this was necessary per se, but it only had what they call an Archimedes scroll in it before. Uh, these things were known for leaking. I thought if I could easily seal that up, I would. So this is the, uh, this is the final result. If you got any questions, feel free to ask. Um, again, I got this seal from uh, BP Northwest, which stands for British Parts Northwest, uh, out of Washington State. And uh, I'm really pleased with the, uh, the quality. It was far less expensive than the one from Moss, and, uh, and everything worked really well. And 
and uh, especially after switching away from metric bolts, which I don't have any metric on this car at all, uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with the result. So there you go. Hope this helps you. Uh, if it does, please subscribe to the channel and come back.